What on earth are you doing now, Daddy? In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the things I've been creating with my Creality Ender 3 V2 printer and uh, a look at the design software that I use for both creating technical pieces and also doing some 3D sculpture. I've been working uh, hard on learning these programs and I've had great fun doing it. One of the first things I, uh, I did was this attachment for my uh, Diwali laser. What it is is an air assist attachment um, so you can uh, blow air on the uh, laser beam as it cuts to remove the smoke and the char. And I designed this using Shaper 3D on my iPad. You use the Apple Pencil and uh, you can design numerous incredibly complex shapes very, very quickly and very, very easily. This was one of the first shapes I actually designed and did this within a very short time of um, using the software. Here's the shape that's exported and put into Cura, which is the slicing software. This slices the model so that the 3D printer knows what each layer has to be. It's got quite a few settings you have to select, but very simple to use. Here's a preview of what the slices will look like and the support structures. It's very satisfying creating and actually producing the actual piece. And here's the uh, finished piece magnets attached and that will just fit onto the bottom of the laser. I'm using a new filament here, this is the eSun PLA Plus which I've been very impressed with. And here it is, Shaper 3D. I'll put some links and a discount code in the description for you. Here's some other things I made, this is a strap fixing for that gun case I made. Here's the design in Shaper 3D, very quick to do. And I printed it out, and there it is on the case. And uh, here it is, so it's showing the underside. And these are these little corner pieces, sort of feet, that I made for the case. Also, very easy to do on Shaper 3D. If I can manage it, anyone can do it. I'm not great with computers, and I find this very intuitive to use. The following is some uh, real-time creations. These aren't things I actually printed, but they're just examples that I've done for you just to show how quick you can make things. I've created this square. Now I'm creating uh, circles on the square. You can set the diameter. There are quicker ways of doing this. You can mirror the image and things like that. Creating a bigger circle in the middle. And... Uh, and then I can turn it around in three dimensions. And you can then extrude just by clicking on these shapes. And extrude up and extrude down. So I've formed this peg on a plate. Just need to correct the bottom there, extrude that down. And once you've done that, all sorts of other things you can do. Just selecting these edges. I'm now creating countersink wells there. Beveling them, rounding the top. Selecting the corners, can then put a radius on those. You can round them until they look as you want them. Then select the edges, round those over. This is real time, very quick. So then there's another example. You can create a profile in two dimensions. Here I've created a couple of lines, creating an offset to give a thickness. And by selecting that shape I've created, I can rotate it around an axis to form a funnel shape. Uh, it's just very satisfying to use, really interesting to use, very quick, very easy. Rounding off some edges. Just uh, putting a nice finish on the neck. But there we are, it really is that simple. Just doing another quick example for you. Like I say, this is real time. This is how quick you can create things. Once you get the hang of it, and you'll get the hang of it very quick, it is so simple. You can select how high you want to extrude things. You can put uh, holes through things. 
here I'm just creating a circle there just putting that circle on the surface and then by extruding inwards you can cut a hole through and select these corners round them off select the edges round them off and you can select how much you want to round things off just putting a radius on that edge so it makes it stronger and rounding off the other corners using a fillet and there you go great stuff really enjoy using this shape of 3d now we're looking at some uh, 3d sculpting and this I'm also doing on my iPad with my Apple Pencil but I'm using Nomad Nomad Sculpt for this and this is a beetle I created this from scratch starting with a sphere it's just sort of a fictitious scarab type beetle uh, it's all my own creation I uh, took me a while to do it but it was a good learning process here it is on the print bed showing the support structures here it is once it's all cleaned off. This was with the original um, Creality black PLA filament and it worked well for this, it had a nice sheen on it. Yeah, I was very pleased with how it printed and it showed the design very well. It's a bit freaky but I had fun. And the other thing uh, I had to do of course is um, design a skull. I started off by designing this skull sort of a basic skull from and I started off with a sphere and did it all from scratch and I was very pleased with this but I then modified it and changed bits and added bits to form this sort of demonic skull with horns and fangs and a frown and there it is on the print bed all finished and this is also in eSun PLA Plus filament, which I got off Amazon. And it's brilliant filament, really strong. Very impressed with the uh, print quality on that. But you can see the support structures. The only problem is with this strong filament, the uh, support structures are a bit harder to um, break away and clean off. But there it is once it's all cleaned up. And uh, yeah, very pleased, very satisfying actually producing something on your screen and then actually being able to uh, print it out in reality very satisfying so I did that one and then I got some more filament from Amazon and uh, that's this uh, Airy One Ultra Silk PLA and this is the copper colour as you can see and that produces a lovely sheen I'm very impressed with that then it's another fridge magnet a gecko this time also designed in Nomad from scratch and uh, I then imported that into Mesh Mixer which is another bit of software and I sliced the base off to make him dead flat underneath and I cut these wells in to put magnets and uh, Mesh Mixer another lovely bit of software great for adapting these things and here it is in the copper filament with the magnets in Uh, yeah, I'll probably be putting some of these designs on Thingiverse so uh, people can download them and print them themselves. But thanks very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Please like, share and subscribe. It all helps me out a great deal. There's a few stills. And check out the links in the description. And there, as I say, there's a discount code for Shaper 3D there. And... I, you know, it really is very simple and intuitive to use. And there's a fantastic work through tutorial when you uh, first open the software, which is a massive help. Don't forget, I'll be at Yandel's 22nd and 23rd of this month, demonstrating and teaching Milliput, uh, Milliput inlays in wood turning. Emma Cook, the tiny turner, will also be there. So come down and see us. And the following weekend will be Makers Central. And I am going there as a visitor, but I have been roped into hosting the uh, 
the Great British Make Off. So uh, you can find me there at some point. I'll be with Al from Al's Hack Shack. I'm not sure, entirely sure what hosting the Great British Make Off entails, but uh, I'm sure I'll find out very soon and have a bit of fun doing it. I look forward to seeing you all there. Come and say hi if you see me. I have got some uh, woodworking and some wood turning videos coming up, so uh, keep an eye out for those ones. More rubbish coming soon.